What? What was I saying? I think Coolsville sucks. Hey guys, it's Mayana and today I wanted to do my follow-up video on extremely specific trope that tropes that butter my biscuit. But I wanted to do extremely specific tropes that grind my gears. So basically book tropes that specific book tropes that I don't like or I don't enjoy. I really don't like when the main character is like sexually assaulted by like a random person and then like the love interest comes and saves them. Like I know that that happens like I know like people get sexually assaulted and things like that but it's so repetitive in books to where like when you you know when a character is getting sexually assaulted you know that the male character the male love or the the love interest is just gonna come and save her like it's kind of like used as a plot point for the male the love interest to be a hero basically there isn't a specific book I have in mind. It's just I don't like they use the plot point. It's used the plot point in Wattpad stories all the time, like literally all the time. Especially like they'll go to a party and they'll get drunk and you know that this guy talking to her is like gonna push it too far and he's gonna try to be interested. Like he's gonna try to get with her and she's gonna be like no. And then like the male character is gonna be like yo what's up dude and then they're about to fight. Like you know like that is, is really repetitive in that sense like, characters who are like so awesome and great at every little thing but is never shown in books and for this example i have throne of glass selena is the i'm such a baddie like i'm a great assassin like i'm so amazing like no one's better than me but she's not showing it at all like all we hear is oh well these guys tried me so i killed them like that's all we hear but since we're not seeing it we're not seeing it at all and i'm just so tired of hearing about it but not seeing it like it's really repetitive and annoying and i know that and i haven't finished the book series but like everyone's always like yeah she gets better like she shows or whatever but right now it's very annoying having to read about her being this like amazing assassin and not having any struggles and all of that stuff like i don't care I want her to be a real at least not even the fact that it's just impossible for someone to be so amazing at everything but the fact that they're not showing us is just really annoying like another thing that really irritates me is the parents don't exist either that they don't exist or that the character always has like one parent which i mean that's that's normal like my mom's a single mom but it's the fact that it's always the parents are single parent because their mom or dad died and and like i know the characters only like i know it's like their mom or dad died but i know the authors do this because it's easier to sneak around when you have a single parent because your the single parent is always like working extremely hard for the household so they're at work and the main character is like sneaking off to go hang out with boys like it's such a typical thing or just when they don't have parents in general like their parents never show up their parents never care i don't know maybe because my mom's like super overprotective and like literally every movement of mine she knows but it's just really annoying like i know there are parents out there who just aren't protective and who aren't around who don't care but like come on now every single parent like every single parent in the book like they're either like not around or they're a single parent and they only have one either they're not around or they only have like a mom or dad not both or like their dad moved away and started a different family so their dad doesn't care about them or their mom moved away it's rare when you ever see a mom move away and doesn't care about them but like it still happens and like it's just not realistic like of course we have single parents and parents who aren't around but just for it to be in every single book like where are the adults like how are you able to sneak around and do this thing and like this is like really prominent in white past stories like i think that's why i love to all the boys i love before so much because even though they have a single parent and their dad is hardworking. their dad is still around and he tries and he even gets married eventually like you know like it's not just he's just a single parent and he's never around because he's working hard so laura jean sneaks out all the time like laura jean rarely even sneaks out like literally me redemption arcs don't me, get me wrong like they're all nice and sweet but when you have an evil character i want the character to stay evil if i read a story with a character who's evil like i fell in love with them because they're evil like not like i don't care about the redemption arc like why do they need to be redeemed why do they need to be redeemed like why is that necessary like for example vicious by lj shen her main character was like this really like mean character and i really liked how rude he was to her like he would always be like 
yo like shut up and go answer my calls like they would just be like like they would be flirting and she would say something he'd be like go shut up like shut up and go answer my calls like you know like stuff like that or like and there was one scene in a book when she was talking to another character another male character and he called them both into the office he was like do you know who i am and they were like you're my boss and he was like yeah so i don't want you talking to each other like i really like that like he i don't know of course a lot of people don't like jealousy in books but i like jealousy in books like i don't know just it warms my heart to see someone cares so much basically i have issues okay i'm not used to people caring about me like i'm not used to guys that i'm interested in caring about me so of course i would like to see it in books where the guys get jealous because it shows that they care but not like jealous to where it's like extreme and like she can't talk to other guys like can't talk to other guys like you know not to like where he's an extreme way but like the way it was still and like the way it was in this book was like interesting to me but like stuff like that like he was a mean person but like that's why i fell in love with him and then in the end he ended up becoming like this really nice guy he was like super cute to her and super sweet and to me it was kind of like weird like the turnaround was like weird and like it was it was i won't say it was out of character but it almost it can't be out of character like it was almost out of character the redemption arc that he had and like his whole like 180 and like how he did it so fast and I, I or maybe it's because i want him to stay the same like his name is vicious for a reason like i want him to stay like vicious but like i just don't like when villains or mean characters get redemption arcs because nine times out of ten there are people out here who just love villains okay not everyone loves superheroes there are girls out here there are boys out here there are non-binary people out here who love villains for what they are okay y'all already know how i feel about authors who write abusive like who write abuse tropes just so the character can be a bad boy and that's like the reason why he's a bad boy because he was abusing his past no he not even he was abused but like his mom was abused by his dad specifically and he's like the reason why he is that way like I don't know making abuse as in a reason for you to be a terrible person like, making you witness abuse as a reason for you to be a terrible person just isn't it, it's just not the kind of thing that I like like in the cruel prince he was abused by his brother but he still wasn't a bad person because he was abused he was a bad person because he was a fairy but he wasn't a bad person because he was abused or in vicious he was a bad character because he was abused by his step uncle his father didn't really care about it that he witnessed his stepfather and his mom plan to sorry this is a spoiler by the way spoiler so so he witnessed his stepmom and his dad like kill his mom and then after that his step uncle like is abusing him like that's a reason to be a terrible person like he is not just this all around oh i was abused i'm a terrible person well i like not even yeah because he was abused physically like you know, like, of course, being abused will have a strong toll on you. But usually it's not even the fact that the characters are abused. It's the fact that they witness abuse, which also can be traumatizing. But you're not going to sit here and be like, oh, I witnessed abuse. I'm going to be a terrible person. Like, you know, I've witnessed abuse before in my life. But that doesn't mean that, like, I'm a terrible person. Or even if I am a terrible person, that's not an excuse for me to be a terrible person. A good book talk for this is After by Anna Todd. Oh, I'm not really surprised. I don't think that this character, this last one is very surprising either because I witnessed before. But I hate when characters think that they're a regular, regular, smakler girl. They're like, mm, I'm so boring, like I'm basic. And then like all the guys in their school are just trying to talk to them and they're trying to ask them on dates. Like, will you go to the dance with me and stuff like that? And then there's like this mysterious character in the background who hasn't been interested in any girls before. And then they catch that eye of the boring girl. And then it's like, hmm, like she's so beautiful. She's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen with the girl. Like, no i'm boring but all these guys are like around her and they're like you're so beautiful and then a mysterious guy's like you're so beautiful and she's like no stop i'm boring stop i don't like that trope at all um a great example for that would be um twilight and every wattpad story ever i feel like that it's a person personality trait to think that you're a boring girl while having multiple hot guys chase after you like I just mm. but yeah that's it for this video um thank you for watching I hope that you liked it I know this one was very quick but like I really struggle to find like specific tropes that I hate 
like there are a lot of tropes that i hate but specific ones those are actually really hard like um yeah that is all for this video like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one